It is March 10th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. TypeScript will turn 10 years old in October of this year. In the early days, it was only used by squares working at big mega corporations. Today, even that dude at the coffee shop with a man bun drinking a soy latte coding on his M1 MacBook is loving TypeScript. On the state of JavaScript survey, types were the number one missing feature. Apparently, people like to catch bugs before they get shipped to production. But there's still one thing that we can all agree to hate about TypeScript the build step, or transpiling your TypeScript code back into vanilla JavaScript. It takes time and requires you to think about annoying configuration details. Wouldn't it be nice if TypeScript just worked in the browser without a build step? Well, that dream might become a reality someday because the team behind TypeScript just submitted a TC39 proposal that would bring native types into the ECMAScript standard, aka the JavaScript programming language. Before you celebrate though, keep in mind that many TC39 proposals fail, and this is just at stage zero, which means it hasn't even been presented to the important people yet. A proposal needs to go through four stages before it gets implemented into the ECMAScript standard. This process can take years, and it may never get there at all. Back in the early 2000s, there was a version of JavaScript called ES4. It was going to include a type system, but everybody disagreed on it so much that they just threw that entire version of JavaScript in the garbage and skipped ahead to ES5. That was probably for the best, because today, TypeScript gives us a very good idea of what a type system for JavaScript should look like. But does that mean that every browser and runtime like Node.js will need to implement the TypeScript compiler? No. Actually, the way it works is pretty clever. If we look closely, the proposal says types as comments. In JavaScript, you can use js.comments in vanilla JavaScript, then use a ts check comment to get type checking in a plain JavaScript file. That's pretty cool because you get the awesome IntelliSense of TypeScript without the need for a build step because comments are totally ignored by the browser. The drawback is that nobody wants to write comments like this. They're really clunky and awkward. What the proposal aims to do is add an optional syntax to JavaScript that would be totally ignored by any engine that runs the code, just like a comment. That means you could add type annotations to your code, but the code would run just like regular JavaScript because the type annotations are treated just like comments, but can be used by tools like TypeScript, Flow, and your IDE to provide an awesome developer experience. It's a very non-invasive approach that could be implemented without tearing apart the existing JavaScript ecosystem. Let's take a moment to pray for its success. <laughs> In other news, React 18 is now a release candidate. Its big new feature is concurrent rendering, which opens up new UI design patterns with suspense. Also, Apple just released a new desktop computer called the Mac Studio with a ridiculous 20-core M1 Ultra chip and an even more ridiculous $4,000 price tag. Don't worry though, that'll look cheap pretty soon because inflation just set a new 40-year high today. Not to worry though, your friends over at the Federal Reserve are coming at this strong with a quarter percentage rate hike maybe at some point in the future. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.